What's up, food lovers? It's Wednesday. It's time for the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining cookie show on the net right now. It's time for After Hours, brought to you by RecTech, powered by Kingsford. It is barbecue week all week long here at RecTech, which means we're bringing you our very best and tastiest barbecue recipes to keep your new year rolling right along. Well, without any further ado, I'm going to pass it over to my two good friends, your master chef, Greg Muller, and our Rec Tech Grill expert, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. I can't crack a can't crack a beer or, or twist the top or anything. We got it straight. We got it on tap now. Tap today, yeah. Beautiful Shiner Bach. Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is After Hours. Presented by RecTech, powered by Kingsford. Like Chef John said, I'm Jody Flanagan, the RecTech expert and barbecue dad. He's Chef Greg Muller. Your director of culinary innovation, and we have the, the main man on the ones and twos over there. That's right. right. Looking fly. Oh, yeah. With a crisp Dapper. Boot. His mm -hmm. pants, Those pants are nice and tight in the yeah, yeah. front. Nice and tight, ladies. Like, he's I, ready to go hit the, hit the dance floor. He's ready Cut to go to Logan's yeah. or Chevy's. <laughs> or <laughs> Shannon's. Like, I like to look my best for you guys. You Logan's know what I'm saying? Honky Tons. Sure. Yeah. Coyotes. You can find me there. Rest in you peace. You can find me Rest there. Rub it in. <laughs> Rub it out. I don't know. <laughs> but this would be a hoe down or a hoe up. Oh, for John, that's oh, definitely going to be a hoe down <laughs> with a. Uh, uh, what is it? A hoot nanny. A hoot nanny. Yeah. Hold down. A hoot nanny. More than one guitar. That is one more than one guitar. That is right. Hey, speaking right. of hoot nannies, though, don't we have a birthday we're celebrating today, Jody? Absolutely, Absolutely we do. We if do. you guys didn't know, it's Chef Greg Muller's birthday. Hey. Bye, 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 bye. So put it in the comment section. Happy birthday, Chef Greg. We really would appreciate it. Uh, cheers. We're celebrating. Yep. Cheers. So, Greg. Yeah. I'm what? not the oldest person in the room right what now. What year were you born? You're definitely not the oldest person in the room. 83, man. 83. 83. Spring chicken. Yeah, yeah. So, so I've got this weird thing to where I can guess your age based on <laughs> the year that you were born. <laughs> nice. You are, like, <laughs> super That's intelligent. So Greg is 38 Woo! today. He doesn't look a day over 25. So I got a year on you, right? You do. You do. I'll be 37 in July. And I have, what, four years on both of you guys? Five years on mm. both of you guys? Salt and pepper. Someone's got to be the old guy. Hey, I'm telling you, black don't crack, though, baby. It don't crack. <laughs> That's what they say. That is what they say. <laughs> uh, but, but, yes, this is After Hours. You were watching us live right here on the RecTech Facebook page, and we are here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. We really do appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. If you're a new RecTech customer, God bless you. Thank you so much. If you're an old RecTech customer, thanks for tuning in once again. Um, uh, but today, we're going to cook a meal from start to finish. Left to right, front to back, east to west. Absolutely, and we're gonna show you guys ribs. We've got some full spare ribs. Wow. We've got St. Louis ribs. Wow. We've got loin back or baby back ribs. Wow, Greg, did all of these ribs come from the same type of animal? Absolutely, they are all from a pig. Oh, huh, interesting. 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 So comment down below if you guys know the difference between a St. Louis rack of ribs and a baby back ribs. That is a great thing to comment down below. Yep. We are actually gonna test the folks. This is a behemoth she, I, I told you this earlier. This is the <laughs> largest rack of ribs I've ever seen. So this would be a full spare rib, so you've got your skirt oh, attached. Take it, Greg. Take it, where are you take going? It. No, no, you're good. He's gonna, go, he's gonna go grab, I don't know what he's doing. He's a maniac. We've got the skirt attached. Uh, we'll show you how to trim this down. Chirp over here, this is the St. Louis cut, right? So this is actually cut from, let me flip this over and I can show you. It's actually cut from. Oh, spare ribs. It's here. actually backwards, but so this is actually the right side, left side. You follow what I'm saying, right? Okay. So we will actually cut this from here. Now, if you look at the baby backs, you can tell a couple things. Shorter bones and they're curved, right? So if I were to have a pork chop, that pork loin would be mounted right here. So this is a leaner rib. This would be a little bit of a fattier rib, albeit still delicious. 
Both of these are ready to go out of the package. We'll show you how to prep those up, but sure. But let's show you how to cut St. Louis ribs out of a full spare. So if I count over, right, this rib doesn't count. So one, two, three, four. This rib right here is actually the longest rib in the rack. In existence. So fun fact, animal. fun fact about pigs. Do you know the larger the pig grows, it actually grows more ribs to support its weight? I did, Greg. I learned that about three years ago when you taught all of us that. <laughs> all right. So and we're I, that is the number one fact that I, like, regenerate at each party that I go to. There you go. Everybody's always like, hey, come so on, hit me with it, barbecue guy. <laughs> we're going like, to draw you know? <laughs> a straight line right across here, okay? Oh, yes. Now, Greg, do, do, are we going to throw away all of that delicious no, pig meat? Definitely not. Okay. So this is now, and now the skirt here, you can trim down. Yes. So now if we were to look, St. Louis rib, St. Louis rib. Wow. Same thing. Looking good. Now you know. The more you know. There you go. Wow. Now over the top here, these have not been trimmed. I'm going to get in here with a knife and uh, trim off some of this fat because we don't need all of it. Okay. And, and guys, if you're buying St. Louis cut ribs, you know, you're not going to have to do this. These are already going to be prepared. Hey, hey, if you can real quick for me, hit that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Uh, and share the rib love. Chef Greg is teaching you guys a thing or two about ribs, gosh darn it. And the, the internet needs to know about all of this stuff. Definitely. Sounds like we got some first responders trying to come over here and check out our rib game. They smelled the smoke, Greg. There you go. All right, so then getting back in here. This, call Sorry. <laughs> this fat is good stuff to add to uh, to grind, so don't oh, get rid of that. Yeah. So over here, we're going to kind of... I like them thick. Get on in there, Chef Greg. Greg. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. This is After Hours. Everybody is clocking out, and they're heading home. Uh, it is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard here at Rectex. So everybody is hitting the road. We are just starting it up. We're cranking things up. Yeah. Turning the grills on. We're cooking a meal. Mm -hmm. We're starting to finish for you guys. Now, we are going to pull this membrane off of here. So Man, I that's just, a whole thick membrane. I just Greg. get into my fingers. Ooh. Okay, you just got to kind of peel it back. Ooh, look, Greg. You were a man on your birthday. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Jeez. Golly. Just go ham. Guys, smash that share button for Chef Greg, ladies and gentlemen. This is his birthday, and he's working hard for y'all. Sure. I mean, course. on that recent video we did with Kingsford, it took me like nine tries to get all the, the membrane off. <laughs> oh. Well, but hey, Greg, I did hear. Greg, when I do those rib demos, it takes me freaking forever. <laughs> I did hear you have a famous recipe. I do. For one-hour ribs. I do, Greg. So... This recipe was invented because one day we wanted to eat ribs within an hour. It was a good fun day Friday. And I yeah. said, gosh darn it, we can make this happen. How do we do it? We thunk on it for half a second, literally a half a second. Then we just cut all the ribs up. We marinated them for yep. uh, about 20 to 30 minutes. We threw them on the grill at 400 degrees. So easy you can easy. use those St. Louis racks of ribs and try to cut right in between those bones. So that way you got equal amount of meat. Shoot, yeah. And you can see how, like, thick. Look at all that meat on there. Like, thick that's a good good right there. With three C's. I mean, that would be a girthy rib like Chef. Look at the, all of that meat on that right there. Lord that right Lord there is, Greg. like, some that's meat on a bone. Disrespectful. Disrespect. Let's smash that share button. John, we got any good questions? Yeah, Guys, we, got, we, a, have any we questions? got a question from uh, top fan Karen Steele. She asks, can you use an extension cord with the grills? Oh, with I'm Karen. Karen, that is a great question. And thank you so much for... For hanging out with us and asking that question. That way the whole world can know the answer to that. You can most definitely use an extension cord with a Rectech grill. Um, it is not going to mess with the power or, or your wattage or anything like that. Uh, so feel free to use an extension cord. I would encourage you to use uh, a heavier duty extension cord uh, than you know what you may find on the inside of your home. Yes. We do recommend outdoor extension cords. Uh, definitely but, a three prong. Yes, definitely a three prong with a good old grounding wire in it. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. the guys out there know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about grounding <laughs> wires. <laughs> oh, man. Greg, you were just over here. Now, these are called rib tips. Well, we actually removed the skirt. Jeez. So this would be just like your, your beef skirt steak. Okay. Kind of like a pork skirt. You can grill it off hot and fast. It would be extra delicious. Mm. Now, these okay. rib tips, there are some pieces of cartilage in here. So what I like to do is I kind of treat these like 
country style ribs. Oh, yeah. Which are not really ribs at all. They're not. Okay? So I like to get in there and cut these up. And what I'll do is I will give these a little bit of smoke. Maybe like two hours or so. Okay. Now, this bone here, it's kind of hard to see. That's actually the chime bone. That's part of the spinal cord right there. Okay, you see that in there, Sherp? That's a bone. It's part of the spinal cord. Okay. But I will go ahead and get those maybe like two hours of smoke, wrap them up in a pan, Ooh. add some, uh, some good juice in there, some apple juice. Maybe I want to add in a little bit of, um, you know, uh, jelly and okay. or barbecue sauce. Right, right, right. And just kind of let those get tasty, tasty, tasty. But this, talk about making some good oh pork tacos. Gosh. Without Slam a doubt, uh, uh, cut against the green, still with the pork, Chef Greg. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always. Okay, great. So Always. I'm going to make up a little bit of marinade for these one-hour ribs really, really quick. I'm going to pull more membrane here. Oh, yeah. Now, this is that baby back or the loin birthday. back ribs. Um, this this it's, marinade it's not can work be, if you love what you anything. do. That's right. It can be anything you like. Normally, I'm just going to use some of this very, very teriyaki sauce. Let it sit for about 6 to 12 hours. You don't want to go the full 24, but 6 to 12 hours is enough time. So I've got some hoisin sauce already in there, about 3 to 4 tablespoons. Um, we're going to add about a uh, about a half a cup, 3 quarters of a cup of that very, very teriyaki sauce, that soy vey brand. John, I see that big old paw. You got a question? They, a bit we have uh, 420 well, people out here watching, and they are loving every minute of it. Guys, smash that share button. That's how we get paid. Isn't that That's right. We got a couple new people out here, Jody. They want you to tell them what we're doing tonight. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So we this is a continuation of Barbecue Week. We have yep. given you amazing barbecue recipes up to this point. We are going to continue to give you amazing barbecue recipes continuing to the end of the week. Today, tonight is barbecue pork ribs. The ladies did barbecue chicken earlier. Chef Greg knocked it out of the park with pork butt. So good. On Tuesday, uh, Chef John with Tuesday Tweets did a barbecue shrimp. Yeah, barbecue sure enough did, fight. barbecue shrimp tacos. And uh, then on Monday, uh, we did, shoot, I can't even remember anymore. I did uh, meat, did I do meat? No, what did I do? Meatloaf, yeah. Yeah, yeah meat you loaf. did barbecue meatloaf. Meatloaf, meatloaf. Okay. yeah. And then uh, with some of that delicious asparagus. Man, I ate one piece of asparagus yesterday. Your piece And I thing? smelled that stuff all night last <laughs> night. Well, I you, hate asparagus. No, for Jody. That. Well, let me tell you. Let me give you a little back fact. The reason oh, why gosh, you're smelling please. it in your pee is because you're dehydrated and you're not drinking enough water. I call the day. shenanigans. No, okay? I could drink six gallons of water, eat some asparagus like a stinky pizza. I'm right? calling well, shenanigans I on the six gallons of water. I could definitely. I would definitely see myself being dehydrated without a doubt. Yeah, for sure. So Probably you're gonna put those that. in that, that Glad Flex Seal bag Absolutely. for about six hours? Shout out to our friends at Glad. That Glad Flex Seal bag ain't Gotta no love joke. the Kingsford family. Good I man. was gonna laugh when that bowl sent the beer flying. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I put a little bit of mustard oh, in the back and I you guys know you did poke a hole. All right, Shout I'm glad out. we have another, another clean bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Dang it. I'm gonna use a little Dang eat, it. eat sweetness this is just a good sweet barbecue rub. You can use honey rib rub if you want. Shout out Rob Gray. Good <laughs> stuff. Gosh darn it. Chef Greg is getting a whole bunch of birthday love in the comments. Oh, that's section. awesome, guys. Yeah. Make sure you smash that share button for Greg so he gets a nice bonus for his birthday. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, we're going out for uh, for sushi after this. Ooh. 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 Like, Greg, did sushi. you get um, um, Vietnamese pho for lunch? Though? That's what I I'm did not. I, I wanted to, and then Julie said, no, let's go out to dinner. I said, okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's what you said. Uh, we're going to go to Sakura in Aiken. Oh, okay. So if anybody wants yes, to go there, buy me a beer. Yeah, there you go, everybody. Got seven Chef Greg out there. What is Chef Greg's Venmo? Y'all buy him a beer. <laughs> yeah, Venmo Chef Greg. Send, it, send him some money for his birthday. Like all social media, you can find me on yeah. PayPal and Venmo at Chef Greg Miller. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. Greg, so Tom and Tim, I know they're going to ask. we got to give it to them. Tom and Tim. All right, for your one-hour ribs, one hour, it's baby. one hour at 400. Now, Easy. on the bullseye, it's going to be a hotter heat, a drier heat. You can knock it down to like 350, 325. It's going to take about an hour. Um, on these, I love to let these uh, season and sweat for like an hour before oh, I put them on. Yes. I will put them back in the fridge. I'm a 275 kind of guy. Okay. So we'll go 275 for about two hours, 20 minutes, and we're going to wrap them up. Okay. And in the wrap, we're going to do some uh, delicious parquet squeeze butter. Yes. Some brown sugar. We're going to use some of this barbecuesuperstore.com Judgment Day sauce. Oh, yeah. Super tasty stuff. Very good mm. sauce. Um, and then a little bit of apple juice. I love Wrap it. that up tight. Let it go for about an hour and a half or so. And then we'll take them off. But let's get these on this uh, RT700 behind me. Get on Again, in there, We're burning those Kingsford hickory pellets. And uh, sure, get on there do the double take. 
check out that 700, then get over yeah. to that bullseye and see what that maniac's got going on. That's right. All right, so we're, uh, we've got these uh, one-hour ribs. They're about 45, 50 minutes in. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of extra glaze. Now, this is not the same glaze that we use to marinate these bad boys with. That would be, um, that would be uh, tainted with raw pork juice. We would not want to put raw stuff back on to this cooked food. So we made a little bit more sauce. We're just glazing these up, give them a little extra flavor on the outside. We're gonna hit them once they come off with a little bit of that Jody's Asian Persuasion. These are gonna be knock your socks off good. Yes, you can do these one hour ribs without doing the Asian marinade. And you oh, can do like so a good, barbecue though. dry rub. So good. But we do recommend the Asian marinade because that's, that's how we, we do the one hour that's ribs right. That's how we do them. That's I mean, because the, 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 the texture of those really mimics that spare that's rib you're going to get right. from the Asian restaurant. Absolutely, sir. Good so, bite. John, I see your hand up. You got a good question. Yes, I got two good questions for you. First of all, people want to know where they need to send, if they want to send Chef Greg a present, where do they need to send it to? They need to send it to, Greg, do you got a Venmo? Cold beer, man. Uh, I do, but I'm not asking for money. <laughs> All right, Greg won't. Greg won't give up his Venmo. <laughs> so send it to Greg Muller, 4301 Evans to Locks Road, Evans, Georgia 30809. Greg Muller, 4301 Evans to Locks Road. We like things Evans, of Georgia, all caliber. <laughs> Hops. He loves. He loves discs. Yes, he loves, he loves 6.7 liter v, uh, uh, what V8 engines. He's got a yep. He's got a 6.7 liter Ford V8. We rolling right. coal, buddy. That's Guys, right. he's rolling coal. So <laughs> but I will say, big shout out to Kerry <laughs> Watts yesterday. Cold, he cleaned that truck like we went to the he mountains. Did? Kerry Watts. Okay. Dude, we had like. I mean, salt from the, the mountain roads. The inside was disgusting with all the road snacks they were crunching in the back. I think it's spotless oh, right nice. now. Oh, nice. Came spotless. up here, cleaned it. He did, that yeah. Son of a did guy. Rachel's too. He's yeah. come back on Thursday. Give him a shout out. Might do that. Clean your truck. Nice Might guy. Clean my truck. All right, Sherps, in this 700 over here, check it out. We already wrapped these bad boys up. But we've got a couple racks of St. Louis, a couple racks of baby backs. Oh, yeah. And look at this. See oh, how tender word. those ribs are? I can that's tell right now that's going to be a full off the bone that rack of rib right there. The bin test. And again, if you like, this are not competition ribs. These ribs will fall off the bone because I know you people like tender ribs out there. Right. Yes, I'm a fan of wrapping in aluminum foil. Yes, I use butter, brown <laughs> sugar, barbecue sauce, more rub if you want. Well, Greg, didn't that, didn't that kill that the flavor of the pork? Make it dry? I bet them ribs are dry. Look at how not dry these ribs are. Look at that bone pullage right there. Shout out to Buckeye Nation out there. Oh, yeah. OH! I, I never want to hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> All ribs are dry. Jody, dry. This is a question from Michael Brian Keys Jr. He says, "What's the best recipe to smoke to get over a breakup?" Asking for a friend. Oh man, so we we've we've got that this sounds like from, a late night munchie. <laughs> no, we've got this already in the bag. Sherpa, let us know this exact thing right yeah, here. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he did. told us it was chicken pot pie. Yeah, that's right. It chicken got him through them hard times. With with the biscuit top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Not with mm -hmm. the old fake pie crust top. You need a chicken pot pie with the biscuit top in your life to get over a breakup. Eat yes. <laughs> and you got to eat it in a bathtub with semi lukewarm water. That's it. Semi lukewarm. Can't be too hot, can't be too cold. Um, but yeah, you can cook that whole thing on the rack tech, I promise you. Um, but chicken pot pie, biscuit top, best thing to get over a look breakup. At those, look at those ribs. Greg. See how juicy Smash those are? That share button. Look at the Three, color. Two, one. Smash, Smash it. it. Look at the color on those ribs. Wow. That's the good, good. That deep red mahogany, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you're looking for. Uh, this is the color that you're looking for when you're ready to wrap them as well. Slide so when you go to wrap these, after about three hours, um, you're looking for this color. If they don't have that color, let them go a little longer. If you like it a little darker, a little deeper, let it go a little darker, a little deeper, okay? I know some folks that instead of doing three, two, one, they do four, one, one, okay? Uh, they, do four, they do five, a half, a half. Um, so you can modify the three, two, one method. Heads up, buddy. Yes, sir. Throw that to out. To your lifestyle. Um, just as long as you take it long enough to do the right texture. That is all you're looking for is the correct texture. And those uh, that want to go internal temp, we are about 210 degrees in these ribs, oh. which is like super soft. If I'm looking for that bite through rib, I'm going to go like 206, 207. But these things are like extra, extra tender. 
So we're gonna borrow your, uh, I like sauce on my ribs. Yes, we all like uh, we all like sauce, you guys. You, now you can turn these into your dry rub ribs as well. Just add a little more shake right now. Absolutely, just add dry rub on top. Don't add any um, sauce, and you will be good to go. Okay. So I like to, when I sauce my ribs. I don't want to make a mess in my grill. So I actually like to put them in the in the pan, add the sauce, and put them back on the grill for a little bit to tack them up. Greg, Chef Greg, that is a great. Tip. I'm not a messy guy when it comes to cooking. Chef John, you got a good question for us? Now. Do you have to wrap the ribs or can you just let them go on the grill? You can go straight through. There's nothing wrong with that. Now you will find when you wrap, you're going to ensure an extra Guaranteed. moist, extra delicious tender rib. Yep. I, now I'm a huge fan of going 250 for five to six hours yep. unwrapped, but I do spritz yeah. uh, with some of that uh, parquet fake butter uh, just to mm -hmm. give it a little better color. You can also make a mop of your favorite uh, barbecue you know, maybe it's a 50-50 apple cider vinegar, apple juice. Okay. But look at, I mean, that right there. Like, Those look absolutely that's good amazing, Chef Greg. You did an amazing job, sir. I don't even think we're going to put those back on. You know Man, what, but I want to... John, we got any good questions. I see it. It smells so good out here, guys. Let me tell you right now. Okay, so you pretty much answered the last question I was going to say. We're, they were asking about if uh, you're doing the 3 two, one method and you want them not fall off the bone. How so do you The 3 two, one is, is, is a fall off the bone recipe. So you got to shorten that up. So I would probably, uh, depending on the type of rib, maybe go like two and a half. 90 minutes yeah. to like 30 minutes. Normally right? six hours will give you fall off the bone. Yeah, Normally. now these are fall off the bone. There's nothing wrong with Cheese that. Cheese and crackers, Chef Greg. I had to put a little extra love on the top. Wow. Because I know you like a little more flavor. Bro. And I'm and again, I'm a huge, huge dry rub fan. What I will do is I will uh, do these bad boys dry the whole way, and then I will have my barbecue sauce on the side so I can actually just dip my rib in my sauce. But man, those look absolutely amazing. Guys, now is the time to whip your camera out, get any amazing pictures uh, you want to get because these things look amazing. Mm -hmm. And again, time and temp, Chef Greg, you did. Uh, we went 270, we went 275. Um, for right about two and a half hours, we wrapped for about an hour and a half. Okay. And then uh, maybe, well, we're not putting these back on, but the big no. backs we'll put on for a little bit. But you can see these things are like. No, they're fall off the boat. Like you can easily make a McRae a, sandwich. A McRae sandwich. <laughs> and that recipe, the new recipes and the new recipe site is live right now at rectech.com. Go to rectech.com right now and check out all of those amazing new recipes there's oldies up there there's a lot of new ones there's a lot of goodies um, there's a lot of goodies out Woo! there we really That's do hot. appreciate you guys for being patient with that john you got a good question yeah it comes from jason brasington he said what's the best Damn. way to reheat those when you're done with the um, leftovers? you have leftover ribs yeah i know right um Definitely. i would wrap them back up uh put them in the grill on low temp and that way they can kind of warm back up slowly um i'm not a fan of the microwave not a fan of the microwave. No, especially, you know, uh, with ribs uh, because you tend to burn a lot of stuff. Um, now, you, we went a little sweet with the play, flavor profile on these. You guys, you can go spicy. You can even do buffalo ribs. Yes, mm. I said it, buffalo that ribs. Well, you good, did that and some poor SOB over there tried to copy you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did invent the buffalo rib right here on the Rectech deck. Yes, it did spread like wildfire all over the internet. No, we're not getting any credit for it, but that's fine. That's fine. That's what living the Rectech lifestyle is all about is uh, getting credit where credit's due. I guess. Um, but, yes, you can go spicy with the flavor Did they give you credit for that? Nobody. Nobody gives me credit for anything great. Yes, <laughs> you can go savory with the flavor profile, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to go sweet. You don't have to go spicy. You can go savory. Hell, God, you can, you can go candy style. Super, super uh, sweet. Ooh, yeah. Super glazy. We've done that before, Mix too. Mix in a daggum um, jar of grape jelly oh, with your barbecue sauce. That's what I'm talking um, about. And go super, super But look super at that smoke ring right, right there. Like, that's a rib that I'd be proud. My art reaction right there, Chef Greg. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a good reaction of that smoke, that carbon um, dioxide re reacting with the um, myoglobin of the meat. Science. And again, that PID controller maintained temperature perfectly it didn't deviate didn't fluctuate it held 275 uh to perfection that's 700 set at 250 it's holding good and strong as well that's what makes us a rec tech 
superior to all other competitors out there is the PID controller, the PID algorithm, holding that temperature good and strong. The PID is the gold standard when it comes to temperature control, ladies and gentlemen. Pharmaceutical companies, breweries, bakeries, they all use the PID uh, algorithm when making their products. And if they have unlimited resources and they use it, we know it's the gold standard. Want to cut some of these baby backs? Yeah, man, those things look absolutely amazing. Um, and again, baby backs are located closer to the spine of the pig where the St. Louis um, uh, ribs are actually uh, closer to the belly uh, or bacon. Yeah, these are going to be, if you look at that meat, see it's a little more white, it's going to be a little bit leaner meat, which is good stuff right there. John, you got a good question. Yeah, it comes from Ricky Jones. He asked, have you guys been able to try the Boar's Night Out White Lightning Spicy? We have no, not. They, they, they got to send it to us. us. They need to send us some. But we'll no, we had not tried any of the spicy. Is it good? Let us know. You That's guys right. hit those guys up. Uh, oh, man. That yeah, double, that double butter, butter garlic, garlic is something fierce. Sure, what a, uh, in there. Brian, Look at the caramelization Brian, of these. Uh, Diefenbach asks, have you tried the Mike's Hot Honey? No, send us some. That looks amazing. I am very that upset. So I can't eat any of these tonight. I told oh, yeah, Julie I wouldn't do it. Go out to eat. I That's told her I wouldn't do it. Well, she was going to make spaghetti, and I was like, cool, man. I like spaghetti. Yikes. But the kids wanted Japanese. Yikes. Man, that looks. Look at the caramelization. Mm, mm, look at the tackiness. The sesame seeds. Don't forget little from chubby. the sauce. Um, you could add sesame seeds to it, guys, if you want to. Black or white sesame seeds look absolutely amazing on this. You could use a mandolin and slice up some uh, green peppers and toss that on top. Give it a Ooh, nice some Thai uh, color chilies. contrast. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. But that's a lot of glisten going on. No, without a doubt. It looks it looks like a bunch of diamonds. It looks like we get, we're flossing out here. Shine light. Right? Like, like a diamond. diamond. Uh, John, you got a great question? Uh, yes, this one comes from Julie D. Morrison. She asked, what flavor pellets did you use for your ribs? All right, so we had maple in the RTB 380 bullseye, and we had hickory in the 700s because they were there when we started. And this wasn't a very long cook, and with a 40-pound hopper, there is no need to have to add pellets to your pit all the time. Right. Uh, at 40 pounds, you can easily cook at 300 degrees for about 40 hours straight. Mm. Right. That's efficiency. Without a doubt. And at, three, at, at, at a set point of 300 degrees, all of our grills average one pound per hour burn rate. Mm -hmm. You can take that to the bank. Son. Sign, <laughs> sealed, <laughs> delivered. I'm yours. <laughs> John, you got to give me other good questions. I see it in your eyes. Uh, no, they're, uh, they're loving this. Now, they're really excited about you guys. We need to try some of these spices, they said. we got to get some of that Mike's uh, Hot Honey. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. They bring me a cake, but the beer is empty. Birthday, Chef This is an important question. Can you blow out candles in a COVID crisis? Oh. 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 Greg, blow it! There we go. Is that a car? Is that a, is that a Carvel ice cream cake? That's an ice cream cake. That's, That's a like Carvel ice cream cake. All right, since, since we have some of our sales guys down here, and I can't eat these ribs. Oh yeah, you guys do can we, try these ribs. Do we want to now? One so we so we Let's like get crazy. Y'all can have one rib. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Time out. We like giving stuff away around here. Yeah. Okay. And and who doesn't love a contest? And who doesn't love this Michael McDonald shirt? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, get <laughs> I really wish he was mic'd up right now. So what say you, we have a quick one rib eating contest. Mm. Yes. <laughs> they're not hot. No, they're not that hot. <laughs> but I'm going to find. In honor of Greg's birthday, let's have a rib eating contest yeah, right, right now. There's nothing like that Greg loves more than yep. watching men meat eat off a bone. Oh. <laughs> meat All right, off, Aaron. Meat, meat off a bone. All right. All right. So. <laughs> You got what, the rules. what are they going to win? It's got to be a clean bone. Clean bone, clean fingers. Hold on. The time first out. Piece of, of oh, nice. first piece of birthday cake. First piece of birthday cake. So, first piece of birthday cake. All right. So those of you that don't know, that's Mr. Aaron Stone. There you go, Aaron right? Stone. You got the hot dog eating, the reigning, retired, 10-time RecTech champ, hot dog eating contest champion, Matt Lane. Matt Lane. Matt Lane, everyone. Matt Lane. Right? 
Okay. Right? Lady, now, single. you have the active, yes. active hot dog eating championship right here. Active. The current active. reigning champ. He's got the trophy on his desk. Stallions. And then you got the, new, you got, you got the newlywed over here. Christian Winkler, who was also in that contest, yeah. but failed miserably. He sucks a mean bone. <laughs> he I does. It wasn't a bone in the so hot dog. So I would say, uh, I would say the winner gets an ice cold, ice cold beer off our brand new Shinerbach kegerator. Ooh, yeah, baby. Hey, that stuff's delicious so, too. All right, count it down with me right now, everybody. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Four. Suck no, that baby. bone. Oh, Lord. We need clean mouth. Oh. Like, it's got to be swallow, oh. clean oh, tongue. Lord. Aaron just Aaron's shoved that done. whole Aaron's thing Aaron's in his done. mouth. Aaron's done. What? No, he's still chewing. you got to get it down. Aaron's, Aaron, get it down, baby. This I is impressive. Christian Winkler, uh, hold on. If he swallows, Aaron. he's got it. Aaron. If he Aaron. swallows, Aaron. he's got Aaron. it. Aaron. Where's Aaron. it at? Christian, Aaron. whoa! Aaron. The dark horse. Christian, congratulations! You win a ice cold Shinerbach beer center, guys. We off love of our you. fantastic brand new kegerator. That's right. Ice cold Shinerbach beer. Yeah. I love it. What are we giving away at the end of the show today? Go. What are we giving away? Stop licking your fingers. Oh, sorry. A bullseye. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 No, he said it. He said it. He said it. Woo! God, that's fantastic. Um, uh, you got to go up to Ben's office and explain wow. that. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Every week. Jody, I think your battery's dead on your pack. Here, borrow mine. Because I, I can't hear you you're anymore. You're finishing so strong. No, just, just roll right with it. Here we go. It was what about now? Yeah, I can got you. Hear you. Me now? Yeah, right. I can hear you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, everybody. We really do appreciate it. Uh, what was I saying? Make sure you follow us on all social media. Tomorrow is going to be Thursday. Jody's going live for lunch break, 12 noon Eastern on YouTube. That's right. You can stick around for Product Spotlight yep. where Chef John and Jody show you the insides and outs of what we got going upstairs. That's being on Facebook at 4 o'clock. And then if you're that late night crowd, yeah, you are. Chef John's going late night munchies. It's going to be 11 o'clock <laughs> on Instagram. And then the show to end all shows. It's fun day Friday, people. 12 noon Eastern. You don't know what you're, we're going to give away. Mm. I know what we're going to make, yeah. but I'm not going to tell you guys that. You got to tune, tune in. in. Tune tune make sure in. you follow us all on social media. I'm at BBQ Dad Jody. He's at Chef Greg Muller. He is at Chef John. Same thing for emails. Chef John at Rectech. Chef Greg at Rectech. Jody at Rectech.com. Please, if you have any questions, we are here for you. We are a resource. Each and every day. That's we're right. a resource for you. It's a free resource. Can't Even stop, if you're not stop. a Rectech owner, just pick us hit us up. Yeah. We would love to talk to you, okay? Yeah. Uh, you're part of the Rectech family, especially if you're watching us right now. Smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. But if you want to win that brand new RTB 3D bullseye that Christian gave away, unapproved, he actually he unapproved. He might be getting he, he might be getting uh, terminated. Reprimanded That's right, right now. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's perfect. I say let's go ahead and uh, it's hashtag hashtag Happy birthday. No, 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 no. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chef Greg. Hashtag happy birthday. I was gonna say comment section down below. Share the video love. It. I was going to say hashtag Shinerbach beer. No, no hashtag, hashtag happy, happy birthday, birthday Chef, Chef Greg. Greg. In the That's comment it. section down below. That's it's it. only right. Yes. But make sure you guys follow us on He's all 28. social media. <laughs> 20, I'm looking pretty good for 20. You are. You look amazing for 20, good. Chef Greg. Pretty good. But we like to end each and every show pretty much the same way. Okay? That's how we roll around here. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we will see you at, at the Rec Tag. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do. I'm Red Tag Lifestyle. Set it, come get it. Blind when phone starts going down, down. live your life the way you are. What's up, Red Tag Lifestyle? Blind and Burningham, Chris Sue, Glenn Rogers, John Eifert.